Uh, Lorenzo Bellinger, I'm um, a Spanish artist uh, based in London. For, I've been based in London for six years. With a few lines and, and then that kind of splash of colour uh, in, in, in yellow and, and, and red. I like also the splash of colour because I like part of my work to be uncontrolled. When you throw paint at it, you never know how it's going to end up. I've always been very um, creative, but uh, um, I used to express my ideas in words. Um, I used to write poetry, but then eventually I realized that I could express myself better or I felt much more confident uh, expressing myself in visual terms, um, with visual objects and drawings, and then is when I decided to become a visual artist. Minimalism needs um, Arte Povera. Uh, minimalism in the sense is very basic, it's very minimal, it's um, use primary colours, blue, yellow, red, um, and basics. And, and uh, Arte Povera in the sense of um, I use um, uh, very poor materials, uh, I find the beauty of pure, uh, poor, uh, austere materials um, exceptionally. Spiritual, very spiritual. So I would say that I, I would describe like that minimalism meets um, Arte Povera. I am. Um, I always work with something I find. So when I find when I find metal uh, objects in the streets in a container, uh, then it becomes my 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 sculptural pieces. And when I find images uh, in magazines, in fashion fashion adverts, then it becomes the uh, drawings. And then when I find stories, uh, then it becomes testimony. It's a project I did for the London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games. So I could say uh, that it's always things I find, either a metal, a story, or an image, that makes me make the artwork. You know, they are as intelligent, as resourceful as you are. Um, Many people, you know, in the working class with no contact made it. So why not you? Always think, oh, I should, you know, give up and do something. But it's always something is pulling me into creating. It's like you never switch off. You go through the street, you go and you see container, you you check out the containers if there's any metal pieces. You go to uh, galleries, uh, museums. Uh, you are always in a look and hunt. You are hunting for new ideas, um, so you never stop. Uh, and once you, you you become an artist, when you know the experience of, of making things, there is there is no going back. There is no plan B. Just a boy because I felt. I feel that like he had, he enjoyed a freedom, a freedom of action. And that's very important for the art. The art, we all have our limitations, prejudices, barriers, and he had denied of it. And I think that's a good thing. I think we, we are all working as an artist to be as free as possible to create things as close as possible as the way we, we, we see it. And he had that capacity, that's what I'm aiming for as uh, an artist. In the creative industries, it's about making your own opportunities. And uh, 10 years ago, when I decided to become an artist, I got very frustrated uh, because I had these kind of paintings that 
no one was giving me an opportunity, so it was a bit like a catch-22. No one is giving me the opportunity to, to expose, to exhibit my works. How can I sell it? How can I be invited on a show? So then I remember having a chat with someone who is an expert in the, in the industry, and I said, I'm very frustrated because no one is giving me an opportunity. And he said something to me that I will never forget. If no one is giving you an opportunity, you make your own opportunities. Uh, and that's what I did. I set up a group of artists. And then we started exhibiting in empty shops. So we didn't have any gallery, so we make our own gallery. And through that way is when I got experience and then I got a job of running another, an art gallery here in London. And so that's what I recommend to people. Make Spend children chase John.